Hello Earthlings, and welcome to the Goob Show. Hit the like button on your way in, and subscribe to the channel. Now relax, and enjoy the show. As Goob always says, look up. You may even see me coming. <laughs> now let's get into this shit show. Hello, welcome to the Goob Show. Uh, this episode... I have a UFO NASA compilation, as always. I have a UFO video. Uh, but from now on, my first videos are always going to be about knowing your law and knowing what you can and cannot do when the police approach you. You have to learn that just giving up your information unless they have what's known as RAS, reasonable, articulate suspicion that you've committed a crime whether you're walking down the street whether you're a passenger in the car we know must know our rights for a long time i didn't know my rights so if they stopped me on public access street and asked me for my id when i used to live in the hood i used to have to give it up now i'm older and i've learned if you're on pu public property you don't have to give up your personal information to no one whether he's an officer or not unless they have what's known as reasonable articulate suspicion that you have committed a crime so let's check out this first video how we doing sir deputy doing? De deputy kelly dewey county sheriff's office reason for your stop is your speed you know about how fast you're traveling um do I know how fast I was traveling? Yeah. Do I need to answer that question? I would like for you to. Yeah, well, I would like not to make any statements. Okay. Let me have your driver's license and insurance card. Um, you have a ID on your driver's license? Have I committed a crime? I, I, I can ask you at any time to identify yourself. Am I under suspicion of committing a crime? No. Yeah, Texas is not a stop and identify, uh, identify state. Do you have a driver's license or identification on you? Am I required to answer the question? Yes, you are required to answer the question. Well, I don't think he needs to identify if he hasn't committed a crime. It doesn't matter. If, if I ask him to identify himself, he needs to identify himself. Uh, are you familiar with uh, Penal Code 3802? Yeah. What does it say? Very well. What does it say? Do you have an ID on your name? You, you need to, you need to uh, lawfully arrest him. No, I don't have to lawfully arrest him. I can. I don't have to. He, is he being detained on a traffic violation? Yeah, he's not driving. It doesn't matter. He's being detained at, at, at a traffic stop. I have the right to identify anybody in the vehicle. Only you suspect him of, of a crime. That's 3802. That's what I'm, I'm going to do, is see if he has any warrants or anything okay. for his arrest. Well, you suspect him of having any warrants? Could be, yeah. Well, well you have to you're, articulate you're, your uh, reasonable, articulable suspicion okay, of a crime. You're, you're breaking the law twice. Well, you, you're talking okay. to me then? Yeah. Okay. He, he he's, a pa he's a passenger yeah. in a vehicle that, that the law's being broke in. Okay. You were speeding, number one. Number two, you're... you're Allegedly speeding. Allegedly speeding? Allegedly. 80, that's that's your allegation. 84 and a 70 is that's not your allegedly. allegation. I haven't been conv convicted okay. of that. Your, your uh, registration is out on your vehicle. So I could arrest you if I wanted to. Uh, but I don't think that's an arrestable offense. Yes, it is. The only, the only two non-arrestable offenses, speeding and open container, which you, you have a speeding violation and and you, you don't have an op open container, but you do have expired registration. Okay. I can have this vehicle towed and you can be arrested. To, to, to be to be towed, I have to be convicted of the crime. You are convicted. You're driving a vehicle. I haven't been to court. You're, you're being, okay. Yeah. Do, you, do you have an ID on you or not? Am I required to give it to you? You are required to give do, it to you. Do you have a supervisor? I uh, sure do. Okay, we'd like to talk to him. Okay, I'll, I'll, I, will, I will let you talk to him and if I have to, I'll have him come out here. That, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm requesting right. a supervisor. Okay, all right, good deal. pulled this guy over uh, 84 and a 70 <clears throat> on, uh -huh. one, on 119. I asked him for his driver's license and insurance and of course he's, are you aware of penal code, yada yada, all this and that. 
Well, he's got expired registration on the vehicle. Uh, asked the passenger for his identification. He wouldn't give me his identification at all. Uh, he's asking for a supervisor to make location. We're asking for a supervisor to make location on a traffic stop? Yes. Where are they from? Uh, San Antonio. I told him, I told, you know, I told him, you know, that, that, you know, he's in violation of the law because he was speeding. He said, no, I was allegedly speeding. And I said, well, you also have expired registration. And, uh, he said that, uh, that the, uh, that he hasn't been convicted of that. So I, there's nothing I can do about it. Are they and I, like I, I, I have no idea. Some it's two Hispanic gentlemen. Two Hispanic. Yeah, I told him. You know, he could be arrested for for uh, uh, the registration, and the vehicle could be towed. And yeah. he he sat and argued with me and said, "No, I can't do that." And and uh, that I need to have. He's requesting a supervisor to make location. Okay. Let me call Chief, tell him what's going on, and then I'll call you back. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Call ended. Okay. The guy's a bit not IDN, and uh, he's refusing to cooperate with questions. That's correct? The, the... What, what is going on is the the driver, I went up, I introduced myself, this Deputy Kelly, you know, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. Uh, and I asked him for his license uh, and insurance. And he handed me his license. He hadn't handed me his insurance yet. And, and then I asked uh, I asked the uh, the passenger, I said, uh, can, I, can I see your, do you have an ID or, or can I get your name and date of birth? And he goes, am I committed to... Uh, have I committed a crime or am I uh, uh, suspicious of committing a crime? And I said, no. I said, but we check everybody that, you know, we have the right to check anybody in the vehicle to, you know, just to see if, you know, to identify yourself, number one, see if you have any, you know, any, if there's any issues or whatever, Warrant. warrants right. or whatever. And uh, he said, but have I committed a crime? And then the guy said, well, you're aware of penal code such and such and such. And I said, yes, sir, I am. And uh, he said, well, you need to you need to read over that you know a little bit better or something and i said well you also have committed a, you know a, a violation with uh, expired registration and uh and i i said you, so you you guys are being detained on a traffic violation and that's why i'm asking for you know identification from both of you and he then he goes to say you know i'm alleged uh, uh you know you're alleging you know I'm not. Be, I haven't been convicted of the of the speeding violation. I said, but you you do you know have expired registration. He said, but the right. the passenger is not. He's not driving the vehicle. Why do you need his identification? And I explained it to him again. He goes, well, I need your supervisor to come out here. Well, supervisors are off. And yeah. She said, I'm not coming out. Okay. Uh, get Mr. D or Brandon out there with you. Uh huh. Um, Chief said. Because at the time, I, I, I got the two mixed, mixed up. I thought you said the guy hadn't provided the ID. He, he, the driver gave me his identification. I ran him, and he's clear. Uh, okay. But, there, you know, he's being a, you know, the passenger's right. not cooperating. Well, you know, they're driving 84 miles an hour in a 70-mile-an-hour zone. 1216 status. Hang on one second. 1216, uh -huh. everything's okay. Uh, can you have 1208 make, make my location, please? Uh, 1208. So, but the passengers... Not, uh, not, uh, cooperate. Okay. Well, the passenger technically, well, we can request, but he doesn't have to. Sure. Okay. Um, you Tell the guy you're going to be cited for this and this. If he refuses to sign, tell him, okay, then you got to go before a magistrate. You're under arrest. Okay. So if he refuses to sign the citation, then uh, then arrest him. Right. And tow the vehicle. We give the passenger a ride back to the office and let him sit there. Okay. All right. So tell him, you know, you're waiting. You're getting the whole, still waiting on supervisors or whatever you want to do. Okay. But how far out is Mays from you? 
Uh, he's in Quero. Okay. Where's the uh, he is at? Myersville. He's actually probably closer. Yeah. Well, my, I mean, he's on his way. Okay. So, but yeah. Uh, Ellen, you're, you've been on the phone with supervisors. There's no supervisors on duty at this time. Uh huh. And stuff. Uh, make sure your cameras are all rolling good. Yeah. Uh, telling, you know, that we have that alleged, uh, fee, or the fee. Uh huh. We have, uh, expired registration. Yeah. Okay, is his insurance good on the vehicle? I, I don't know. I hadn't got his insurance card, and I, I you know, I, I've just got, ask, I, you know, got on the phone with you. Right. Well, I call, ask this special radio if they can confirm his insurance. Okay. 1216 County, can you confirm insurance on that vehicle? Go ahead. Just to let you know, I'm coming at you from Myersville. Receive. No, uh, it, no code. Just, uh, just make my location. Receive. Okay, you there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Keith agreed with me because that was him calling. Uh huh. Uh, if he if he refuses to sign the ticket, hook him up. Uh huh. Do PC affidavits on him. You know, you can use the speed and the expired registration. Make sure you get good pictures. Okay. Take him in. Uh, tow the vehicle, have the passenger uh, ride with Diaz to the office, okay. and send it to the office until we can get somebody there to pick him up. Okay. Because, you know, if they refuse to sign, which is a promise to appear, we got to take them in and get them magistrated right away. Okay. Uh, now, I thought that if, if you uh, were asked to identify yourself, you had to. Only if they're, it's in commission of a crime or an investigation. Okay. Because he's just sitting there as a pastor, he doesn't have to. Okay. All right. Now, if the guy said, if you go to tow the vehicle and the guy says, well, I'm going to run him, well, I can't because he won't identify himself, so I don't know who he is and if he's got a valid eligible driver's license. Yeah. Okay. 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 Good deal. All right. Call me back if you need to. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Call ended. This is what's going on. I uh, pulled these guys over, 84 and a 70. Approached the vehicle, introduced myself, told him, you know, uh, so he handed me his ID. He never gave me his insurance card. Uh, so I asked the passenger, hey, you, need, you know, do you have any identification on you or you need, can I get your name and date of birth? And uh, he kind of sits back in the corner and was like, am I committed of a crime? You know, and I was like, no, sir, you're not at, not at this time, but we do, you know, we do check everybody in the vehicle to make sure they don't have any local warrants or anything. And, you know, he said, well, do I have to, I, I said, well, I'm asking you to identify yourself. Can you identify yourself? And then this guy, the driver, you know, he's, are you familiar with penal code 36, whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I noticed that their, the registration's out. So, you know, I tell him, you know, the kid, the kid kept arguing with me saying, you know, well, I'm not, you know, under arrest or I'm not, you know, suspected of any crime, so I don't need to identify myself. I said, well, actually, I said, sir, you're, you're in violate, you're in with two violations. I said, one for speeding. He said, allegedly speeding. He said, I haven't been committed to that yet. And I said, and you're driving a vehicle with an expired registration, uh, which is an arrestable offense, so I could arrest you for it. And uh, he goes, no, that's not an arrestable offense. And I said, yes, sir, it actually is. I said, only two are non-arrestable offenses are speeding in an open container. Well, he kept arguing with me, arguing with me, blah, blah, blah. Is he probably your law enforcement? I don't know. I, I want to speak to your supervisor. Can you have him come out on location? So I called Carver and told him what was going on. And he told me to have one of y'all make location. And uh, well, uh, if the guy refuses to sign the ticket, he said arrest him. And since the other guy didn't uh, identify himself, tow the vehicle and have that guy uh, take him back to the office and just let him sit there until he gets a ride. 
Um, as far as the passenger, now, if there is, my understanding is, if there is no, they are not trying to True, to true, to identify them, so. true, that is true, uh, it is true. As far as the passenger. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, doesn't, he doesn't have to identify himself, I'm just going to go up there and say, look, you're going to get a citation for this, if he refuses to sign it, then he said put one of them in your car and one of them in mine and haul them in. Yeah, because you, you, you told him that by signing it is because of yeah. the promise. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sir. I need you to sign here across the top. It's not admission of guilt. Just stating your contact the court on or before uh, the 22nd of February. All right. There's a good question. Mm -hmm. What happened if I don't sign it? Well, you're refusing to sign, you'll go to no. jail. I'll go to jail. Yeah. So, okay. So what I'm just trying to get across, my signature is not going to be voluntary going to be on the... Well, it, it's list. just a promise that you're going to contact yes. the court. That's, yes. that's what your signature is, so is promising. Not, but my signature is not voluntary. I'm doing it because if not, you're taking me to jail. Okay. That's the only way. Well, that's the only reason I'm signing this. Okay. You, you're, you're, you're signing saying that you're going to go to court on or before this date. That's yeah. what that's what your signature, regardless if you want to sign it or not, okay. that's what that signature yeah, is for. Yeah, just, just for the record, my signature is not voluntary. I'm signing this because if I don't sign, you take me to jail. Okay. That's what you said. What you're doing when you sign that is you're promising that you're going to go to court. Yes. Regardless if you volunteered or not. Okay. Well, okay. I'm saying it, my it, signature is not voluntary. Uh, my signature says I'm going to go to court. Yes. But my signature is not voluntary. But that, that doesn't make any sense. I, I, don't, I don't understand what you're saying. You, what, what I'm trying to say is you're making me sign it because if no... I go to jail. No, I'm asking you to sign it. It's up to you whether you want to sign okay. it or not. It's under... <laughs> yeah, it's under threat, arrest, and coercion. I mean, if I don't sign it, I go to jail. That's, that's the only reason. Well, if you don't go to court, you go to jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right now, if I don't sign, I go, I go to jail right now. Yeah, so the, basically all this is saying is you're going to go to court. If you don't go to court, then you get a warrant and you go to jail. You're, you're, you're hearing, but you're not listening, sir. So you're saying... You're saying... He's saying that if he, if he doesn't sign it, you're threatening to take him to jail. Uh, no, right? I'm not. No, what That's I'm what saying. Said, okay, he would go to jail and be magistrated. Okay. Because either way, you're going to get magistrated. Sure. Okay, well, so okay, either way, it it's either do it now or do it later. However you want to do it. Either you go see a judge now. Oops. You either go see a judge now or you go see a judge later. So it's however you want to do it. Yeah. Okay. All right, here's your ID. Uh... There's your citation. All right. This is a courtesy card. All right. Stating, you know, with all the uh, judge's information on it. Yep. Like I said, you got you you have until the 23rd of contact at 9 a.m. to contact the judge on the charges that you're being charged on. All right. That's fine. Okay. okay. Slow it down and have a good day.
is ready to know if anyone has visited us. They can accept that and they want it.
so We got Pomona in the build Talk about the aliens, the government we trip Talk about the flying saucer, see from the building Higher than I'm feeling, they look rather appealing 